Crossbarna, hard place to come to and come away with a 4 0 win on a tough pitch and wet conditions. How do you sum up here in 90 minutes? Cast out there at times, you know, the ball just bouncing around the wet pitch, mucky, slippy. Came through, we got the key sheet for And when you look at their scoreline, Crossbow Liner, to be fair to them, never gave up. They were very resilient throughout and they offered a little bit of, bit of a threat themselves at times going forward. Yeah, there was no point giving up, might as well fight to the end and try and get a goal. Uh, yeah, it was a fight right to the end and kept going. And, um, the goal to give us the lead from down came from a goalkeeper's mistake, which was actually unfortunate, really, because besides that, the keeper made some fine saves. Yeah, he did two good saves just before the goal. He made a save for Devon. And then from the corner, he saved the header again. All broke through eventually, and the goals kept going. And then PJ Calfee getting on the end of Kevin's cross, and that was a sweet folly to make it too. Probably the pick of the goals of the night. And then um, in the third goal from Kevin early in the second half, that just really sealed the game up and then Adam made it four. Yeah, the early goal in the second half sealed the game and then just Adam added on to it finish it off. And then after that, um, Cross Warren, had, they, made, they still made it difficult despite being 4-0 down, but um, to be fair, and we just got the job done without being over, overly spectacular about it. Yeah, we got the job done. It was messy a bit at the end, last 20 minutes. But we got the job done, clean sheet, three points. And the next game is a couple of weeks down the road against Con Rangers at home. And another one to look forward to and another win. And it'll just keep the momentum going for a chance to finish third. Yeah, as long as we can win the rest of our games, we can do the best we can and try to finish as high as we can for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Cross Marina, as we know from a month ago, a tricky place to come to, hard pitch to play on. A uh, feisty side, proved again, again tonight. And we, we might have got the win, but um, we, it was more, more or less job done rather than anything too spectacular sparkling. Uh, look, Cross Marina, uh, they work extremely hard. They're, they're very well organized. Um, they really put it up to us in the semi-final of the cup. I thought tonight, we were very simple and very effective in what we did and um, it was a much much better performance by us and particularly in the first half I thought you know we outplayed them we put the, bed the game or the game to bed quite early and um, I'm really happy with that because this isn't an easy place to come and play football and uh, we did quite well. One stat we certainly improved on from our last visit here was the offsides there were 43 offsides given last time around the stats tonight would have been a lot lower than that yeah, it was all down to our movement. We, we used the ball much better. There was better movement uh, amongst the players. There was more running from deeper and there was more quality in what we've done. And um, yeah, it's really pleasing. And when you look at the first goal we got through down, um, when you look at the highlights, um, it was a mistake from the keeper. But And that's what the keepers get remembered for when they make a mistake. But to be fair to him, he made a couple of great saves in the game, particularly the two before we scored. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, th that's pressure from us, isn't it? Like we're putting enough pressure on their back line, uh, we're forcing those mistakes and um, I think we were uh, clinical tonight in some of those chances. No, we had more chances after that, but it was our work rate was really, really good. And um, the pick of the goals for me though had to be um, PJ Calvi to make a 2-0 yeah. out of the Ford. And the finish was ex absolutely exquisite. Absolutely, and um, great work by Alex, great running. Alex been on the right side tonight, very effective. And um, great time in the run into the box by PJ, and a very, very good finish. Which PJ has done a couple times this year, coming from that position. And of course, the second half goals, Kevin Kettrick early on, just finished the game off, and Adam Nugent um, capping off with another goal, following on from last weekend to make it four. And cross the line, to be fair, even at four nil, they kept battling and making it difficult and they were attrashed themselves at times. Yeah, look, I mean, the credit to them, they worked hard at the very end, and staying in Super League really matters to them. They've earned that right to, you know, a good position with a couple of games to go to stay up. Um, you know, they, they, as you said, they never stopped at the very, very end. Um, we wanted that clean sheet badly. It's, we're working very hard to get that. We've 
had a good few in the last couple of games and it matters to us. Um, so it was great, it was a great contest at the end. And there's a little breather now for a couple of weeks until Con Rangers come to United Park. And that'll be it. A uh, very interesting contest. It will probably be a tough, tough game once again. And once the fixture comes around, the lads will have to be very focused if they want to be in with a shower of getting third on the table. Yeah, well, look, it's it's there. We, we've got to push on for that now. We've set our goals. We've set our goals in the second half of the season. And so far, we've uh, winning the cup final last week and uh, pushing our way up the table, which is the way we have done. Um, you know, we're starting to keep clean sheets. We're starting to work hard. We're starting to be very effective in these games. Um, Con Rangers won't be easy. Another good side with a good win there recently, but um, they're going to come wanting to, you know, change that score and turn things around. Um, but I'm quite confident that, you know, we're there to finish out this season. We've got goals to push on for that tour, try to get to the final of the other cup, and um, try set ourselves up for next season. At the moment, you know, we're seven and eight games, and uh, we're quite proud of that. We've got to push on, and we're playing lots of different bodies, lots of different individuals. We're getting game time and. Um, competition for places is quite good so I don't think it's in the, the lads interest to drop off or take it easy you know and of course they're getting plenty of um, ball time at the moment from under 18s under 21s and um, lads getting time with the B team and it's all um, making a positive impact it's, it's football it's football and more football it, it, it makes it easy just the way it needs to be and um, particularly at a club like ours um, we play football at training you know, they're getting plenty of games during the week, so it's they're surrounded by it. Uh, it's it's what the players need in order to develop and grow and learn. And then, um, to be fair, the Mayo League provide that with all the different competitions. And given our squad is quite young this year, they're it, they're involved in all of it. But it's, it's it's great. I know the bank holiday weekend is coming up next next weekend, which obviously means no Super League fixtures or any of that. But I'm sure for the lads, the work still has to be done on the training pitch in the meantime. Absolutely, we have to continue to work. Uh, we're all looking forward to the weekend. We've beat games this week with the 18s on Monday and the 21s coming back up on Thursday. Um, we'll do our work in between, um, but we're all looking forward to the weekend off too. I have to be honest, I think next weekend is an opportunity for us to just recharge a little bit and go again hard for the finish of the season. Indeed, and let's hope that um, the lads will enjoy the Bank Holly weekend themselves and we'll be back in two weeks. I'm fit and raring to go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.